Hello everyone and welcome to Sparkle English. Today's mini lesson is on the difference between bored and bored. It's very common for English language learners to get confused about how to spell or use these words correctly, since they are homophones and are pronounced exactly the same. Let's learn the difference between these two words. Bored, spelled B-O-R-E-D, is an adjective. If you are bored, you feel unhappy because something is not interesting or because you have nothing to do. Examples. The student was really bored in science class. Do you want to come over and play video games? I'm so bored. Laura is bored of having the same arguments with her boyfriend every day. Now let's review the word bored, spelled B-O-A-R-D. Bored can be a verb or a noun and has a few different meanings. As a verb, to board means to get on or into some sort of transportation. For example, she boarded the plane headed to Toronto. When all passengers were on board, the train pulled out of the station. As a noun, a board is a long, thin, flat piece of wood. Example, my father nailed some boards over the broken window to keep the cold air out. 2. A board is also a flat piece of material designed for a special purpose, like a surfboard, skateboard, blackboard, or cheeseboard. Examples. The teacher wrote the alphabet on the blackboard. My best friend loves to snowboard. 3. A board can also mean a group of people having managerial powers. Example. The board of directors had a meeting in the conference room yesterday. 4. Board can also mean daily meals in exchange for services or pay. For example, the nanny takes care of the children and receives free room and board in return. The half board option at the hotel includes breakfast and dinner. Now let's look at some mixed examples using board and board. We were really bored, so we decided to play some board games. Whenever I am bored, I go skateboarding in the park. Now it's your turn to practice. Write sentences with board and board in the comment section of this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Sparkle English for more videos on how to improve your level of English. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next lesson.